let's just get down to it. Let's discuss let's something very exciting that happened this morning. Mm -hmm. Something was launched. Okay. So my crowdfunding campaign for my new film has launched on Indiegogo. And the link is in my Instagram. I don't know if it's in my Instagram description. I'll have to link it there. The page is description. So the film is called Demonstration Sport. Yes, I did. Vintage Ashley, and I send your user. Um, my film, it's a short film. It's a mockumentary called Demonstration Sport. And it's about a woman, moi, who is a mom who her dream is to become the first gold medalist in the Olympic, the new Olympic sport of competitive napping. <laughs> so we do have an Indiegogo campaign going on right now. It just started this morning. <gasps> Papa Chulo Levy joined. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite people in the whole world. Oh, that, okay. Now we have to be good. Okay. Be cool. Yes. Be cool. Huh. Yes. Um, so yeah, we've launched our campaign. We're super excited to bring this film to everybody. I think it's going to be hilarious. We have an amazing director, Monica Mustelier, and uh, we have a cast. We have our we have a whole crew happening and uh, it's the first short film I've done and written. So I'm very excited and I think it's going to be a, a good time. I think it's going to be a, a fun time napping. I think we should stop the nap shaming. I, I, you know, no, I, in your honor, I took a nap today. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately should. I was very unsuccessful at it and I ended up just sleeping longer. I don't know how you mastered the art. Okay. Like, what is your nap in, in your head? Yeah. What is a nap? How long? Okay, so there are various kinds of naps. First of all, you have to train. And uh, my character, Amy, has a coach, a napping coach. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is not, this is a sport. This is not just a fluffy little thing. So you do need to train properly. And it's not a sleep. It's a nap. I, I Very it. different. It is. So there are different kinds of naps. There's the cat nap, which is just like a, a five, 10 minute kind of deal. There is actually something called a NASA nap like NASA, the aeronautical space place. And um, what is that? They've done studies on fighter pilots and fighter pilots who nap for about 25 minutes, yeah. 25, 26 minutes, have a better reaction time and they make fewer errors. So there's a so certain day they have to nap. Or I don't know if it's four. every day, but okay. when they do nap, that's like an optimal time, 25 ish minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then there's the whole concept of if you nap too long, like an hour or more, you get into REM sleep and then you, your whole sleep cycle starts again. It's a whole thing. So yeah. I know Liv here is saying if she naps during the day, she can't sleep at night. Um, I don't seem to have that problem. I love napping. Like I'm so good You're at like, it. I'm a bro, so I can't relate. Well, you know what? I relate to you because I'm exhausted. So I have my coffee up. Yeah. And I think it's so weird because I think napping is cultural too. Like in some cultures, they just, they, they nap. They that's what you do you take a little rest in the afternoon and no one's like shamed for it and I think in North America it's still kind of like you're lazy or you're missing something or you're oh, what babies get to nap and I was talking about this with someone else earlier I think adults should nap and so when you pitched this to me and you mm -hmm. told me that I, I was so excited I love <laughs> this idea I hope it brings back napping I hope it's kind of Europe style <laughs> European breaks yeah throughout the day I think that'd be fun I think it's, I think it's going to be a good time. It's fun. Um, and then, you know, really, even people who are not super athletic have a chance to be very successful in competitive napping. You know, like some people have a skill, like a, you know, a skill. Uh, but you can train. <laughs> as you I think you in have to. Mm -hmm. What would differentiate gold from bronze? That's an excellent question. Well, there's a few categories that you're judged in. Yeah. Um, there's time because there's different kinds of naps, the cat nap, the NASA nap, the snooze, and so on. There's time, how close you are to the optimal time. There's form. So, you know, I do you don't want to be just kicking your leg over the blanket willy-nilly. You got to, you know, there's form. Uh, snoring, so wait, what's good form? I think good form is remaining under the blankets. Oh, okay. Um, okay. You don't want to have too much of a restless leg syndrome going on. That's one of the hazards. Uh, one of the major injuries in competitive oh. napping <laughs> is RLS. And um, oh, that's oh, that's amazing. it's sad. It's sad. You gotta yeah. So oh, my friend, crafting diva Dolores is here. Hi, Dolores. I miss you. 
Wait, I have a question. Are you yep. sleeping with napping if you use one of those weighted blankets? Well, this is the thing. So I think because it's such a new sport, we're still trying to settle on all of the rules and regulations of, of competitive napping. Um, you don't want to be, yeah. So we're, we're still looking into the legalities of uh, a weighted blanket. I'm wondering if it's something that could be maybe used in training, but maybe would be disqualifying in a competition. Okay, what about like melatonin kind of stuff? Oh, that's doping. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's it is doping. Yeah, 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 oh, that's so doping. I had a feeling, yeah. okay. Yeah, is yeah, magnesium yeah. borderline or is that acceptable? Um, I think it's borderline. Okay. You know, you gotta, <laughs> there's integrity. We are Canadian athletes and we have integrity. 